In this video, we will be exploring Travify's credit card authorization form. Travify is end-to-end -end PCI compliant, making collecting this information and storing it within Travify safe and secure. To get started, you will want to make sure that you have your two-factor authentication enabled. To do so, select your name up at the top right and then select account. From here, select security, which is on the left-hand side. And this is where you'll see where you can begin setting up your two-factor authentication. This is going to provide an additional layer of security to help protect your client and your information that much more. Once you have completed this, select library within your navigation tab. Select new library item and then select form. From here, you can start creating a brand new custom form if you'd like by selecting add new. Otherwise, to save a little bit of time, you can select our template. Select credit card authorization and you'll notice where we have some questions already pre-populated for you. By clicking the pencil icon on the payment information question, you'll notice you have a few different options. It is going to be required, which you can select off if you would like, but we are not collecting the CVV code by default. If you need that code on the back of the card, select yes. If you wanna put this form link anywhere, whether on your website, social media, etc., you wanna put in the default authorization information. This is information that everyone will see if they select your link. You'll want to input default authorization descriptions, what your clients are authorizing you as their advisor to use their card for, default authorization amounts, how much in total would you be using their card for, and then the default authorization deadline, how long will you have access to their card? If you're collecting the CVV code on the back of the card, we will have to remove this information after 30 days. So I'll go ahead and input 30. Let's go ahead and fill out the rest of these areas. Once you have filled all of the information out, click the check mark to make sure this saves. If you want to continue adding additional questions, just select the add new button. Down below, you'll notice that we are requiring an electronic signature, but you can input your own terms and conditions within this field. Once you have completed your form, select the share option up at the top right, and you have two options of sharing this out. You can share this via a form link if you have filled out the default authorization information. You can copy and paste that into anywhere you want this available to your clients. If you want to email this to clients and you want to include specific information, select the email option. From here, you'll put in your client's email address or name if they're already an existing contact. You can also choose to include a custom message and change up the descriptions, amounts, or deadlines, again, if you want this to be specific to a client. Once you are done, select Send Form. Another way of sharing your forms out with your clients is actually through a trip. This makes it really easy to make sure that your clients are filling everything out and you have all of the resources for the one trip in one place. Let's go ahead and take a look at that method. I'm going to select Add New from within this trip, and we'll select the Form option. From here, it's going to show me my top three forms that I have in my library, but I can also search for the specific title as well. Let's go ahead and select this top credit card authorization form. From here, we have the options to make edits if needed, but I can also select the share option and you'll see the two different options right within here. Same as if we were in the library where we can email this form directly to a client or I can share that form link. This also makes it really easy to see all of the responses from my travelers who are on this one trip. If you chose not to send a form through one of your trips, you'll wanna go back to your library, and when you receive a form response notification, it'll take you right to your form within your library. You can also select responses, which are up at the right-hand side in your form, and you can see all of the different responses right from within here as well. You can also click the three dots to export this as a spreadsheet if you'd like. Now, if I click into the drop-down arrow, I get a high-level overview of the responses that my client submitted. I can go ahead and select their name, and it'll take me right into their contacts. This is going to show me, again, a high-level overview of what they submitted. I'll have the option to download a PDF of their responses, which in this case is not going to include their credit card information, just to help make sure you're protected against chargebacks. But I can select View Details right from within this window. And if I want to view their specific card information or CVV information, I can do so. If I no longer need the information, I can select Delete Now. But that's it. That is how you can utilize Travify's PCI compliant credit card authorization forms to securely collect and store your client's information. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at professional at Thanks so much for watching and check out the rest of our getting started video guide.